Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn the opening riff, the main riff, to The Trooper by Iron Maiden. So we got some fast little pull-offs here and everything. This is just the opening riff. Remember, if you want the whole song, just make sure this video gets 600 likes. I need to know you guys want to see it. Alright, so let's hop right into it. We're going to uh, start here at the 7th uh, fret on the A string. You're going to pick that note twice. Then you're gonna pull off to the seven to five, and then hit the seven on the low E string. One more time. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing, a little bit different phrasing though, two frets lower. All right. Now we're going to do the same lick again, but it's going to be 3-2 on the 5th string over to 3 on the 6th um, string. So it's going to sound this. All together. Alright, now we're going to hop up here to the 5th fret. We're going to have to do a little roll here. 5th fret on the A string over to the 5th fret on the D string, then back to the 5th fret on the A, and then the, the E here, and the 7th fret on the A string. Alright, so when you go to that, when you go to hit that final 7th fret there, that's the beginning of the riff again. So all together the riff sounds like this. Now, we have this little harmony part. I'll do uh, one of the harmony lines here. Once again, if you get this thing gets six hundred lights, I'll do, we'll do, gonna take care of all of these parts. Sounds like this. All right, so what's going on there? Eighth fret on the B string. Then you do a quick little trill between seven and eight on the B. Then go over to the seven on the high E string. Then pick that 8 on the B string, followed by the trill again. So we have this. Then you pick the 8 again, and then 9 on the G string twice. One more time. Now we're going to end this little lick by going 7 on the G. 8 on the B, then 7, 9 on G. Alright, so that sounds like this all together. And then just start it over. He actually does it 8 times. Alright, so on the 8th time though, instead of doing this, he ends up with these power chords. Alright, that's when the whole band stops. So that those these four power chords are the fifth fret power chord here off the A string. So it's five on the A, seven on the D. Then move everything down one string to the power chord off the fifth on the D and the seventh on the G string. Back to the previous power chord, then up two frets. All right, so it's a cool one. It's fast. It kind of moves around a lot. It's a good exercise in kind of uh, shifting and uh, pulling off and stuff. And then obviously you got some nice trill work out here. So once again, if you guys want to do the whole song, 600 likes, and I'll get to it. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.